Many people ask me why you go to, somebody asked me the other day, why you go to so many events? Oh my gosh, events have changed my life. I don't care what anybody says, events have changed my life. I would have paid double that money in a Easy. heartbeat. Easy. The people that I have met through the events. Yes, and you'll be at 8%. I, I'll be at 8%. Yes, I already bought my ticket. You'll probably be front row, I'm guessing. But I, we'll I, see. I, I uh, bought the package with Mali. Malia. Malia gave us oh, a group ticket. Malia yeah. Rogers. Yeah. Yes, I love Malia. She's yeah, awesome. I love Malia too. She's so great. she's the one that said, you know, oh, we're going to go in a group. So she got the deal with Andy, I think that yeah, it was. That's right. Uh, so we already bought the ticket. I bought the ticket the, as soon as you finish the other 8%. So, Virtual. Good. Yeah. Good. We already finished that. Yeah. Here's something I've been thinking about. Um, you're going to be here the rest of the week. Yes. The business expansion, the business expansion. workshop yes. starts Wednesday night yes. and Friday and Saturday. And yes. Thursday and Friday. Yes. What are you most looking forward to from that event? And why that event for you right now? Just the name itself, you know? I wanted to expand. You know, so when I met you, you you promoted that event, and that was exactly what I was looking for. I was looking yeah. how I think that it's very difficult for a solopreneur like me that has been doing this for five years yes. all along with our team. It takes some time to understand that you know I cannot do it alone, right. and that I need a team and I need support. And how can I merge all those personalities together? I think that that's the biggest fear. You know what happens yeah. if you know I don't like that person and I already hired them, or but that can happen anyhow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I think that if if I have the guidance, you know that you're gonna provide, right. I will have like a plan. You know, like a. A, a, a road, if you want to call right. it, a roadmap. Yeah, 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 roadmap that that is going to tell me, okay, Tatiana, you should go this way, you know, and then let's figure it out, you know, if this way works for you, yes. and 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 that's what I'm looking for, you know, to, and that's what I thought that that event was was worth it, and 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 the fact that you just meet such a group of amazing people, you know, I went to your mastermind too. And I remember when you announced it last minute and, and, and I asked people if they were going to go and some people were saying, look, oh, I don't know. And I said, but it's a mastermind. You don't yeah. understand. It's a small group of people. That's right. So if you want to get close to Cody, if you want to meet people that they are really willing to put money in what is meaning for them the most yes. important thing that is their business, right? right? I want to be in that room. You know, right. I, I don't want to be in a room when people are going to be making less money than me. I want people that they make more money than me. Totally. That's you know? what woke me up. I went to I went to, to Grant's conference back in 2018. Mm -hmm. First one I went to. I thought I was hot stuff. <laughs> and I go there and all of these people are just destroying me. Oh, yeah. And I'm very competitive and driven. So I'm like, gosh dang it, what is wrong with me? I mean, at that point, um, we we were we had we were on pace. We were going to do over seven figures in 2018, but all these people are earning like 20 million bucks. I know, and, and, and isn't that crazy? 50. I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, one of the things I write down now every day when you talk about um, oh, I do that driving too. people. I, I do that too. I write my goals. Every I write day. Um, I write that our total revenue is over 100 million dollars a year. Wow, crazy. and it's like why not? Yeah, right? why not? And even if you come short, you wouldn't like to have, you know, $70 million exactly. in revenue. Hey. I love that you say that because most people are like, well, you fell. I'm like, no. you make $70 million bucks. Yeah. I really fell. You tell me. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's one thing I want to add real quick. we got a couple more minutes. Sure. Um, what steps are you going to go take to get from half a million to a million? Well, definitely more people. You know, uh, I just, we, we just started with Dallas, you know, that works with your dad. Um, and we just hired somebody in Texas, another person in Florida with 80 people team, which that was like a, huge. a grand slam for me. Boom. Uh, yeah, boom. I was like, how many people do you have? 80? A big boom. Yeah, I was like, oh, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. That's right. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and then we have another firecracker, Lamy, that you're going to meet her. Her name is Senia. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming for next week because oh. your dad is making another event after you. That oh, it should uh, be the same. I mean, I know I, we should have staggered him. Now you get to come back in two weeks, right? Yeah. Are you coming back for the main event? I can't but because you're, the other agent is. Yes, okay. the other okay. agent okay. is. But yeah. that's what I was telling you guys that I wish it would be. There's you know, all these events in Springfield, and you're like, I'm in Jersey. How often can I really come? That's to my point. You know what I mean? So I was like, Oh my God! Don't tell me that you're gonna make it like two weeks from there. My husband yeah. is gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> If I disappear for half you of the need month. A house here. <laughs>
Or she can I, just move. That's what I have to do, right? Yes, yeah, I'm and, thinking. And that half a million bucks would go a lot further. In I know, I know, I know, I know. So they, I, I, I'm, I'm going to... You could probably be the mayor of the city and, and, and own the Oh, the, I definitely will know tower. people. Oh, I definitely will, will see me meeting people in, in whatever, you know? Uh, so um, I already hired somebody, in, in, in two people in Florida, like two teams in Florida, then mm. somebody in California, somebody in Texas. So um, I actually was making a joke with Dallas that I'm going to go to the bar and maybe I will hire somebody there, you know? You probably would. Yes, just, you She's know. Lucky. <laughs> She's a machine. I'm looking, yes, I'm looking. Everywhere that I go, I go and look for it. But but the goal for me is 20 people before the end of the year. To, and I think that that will be a solid number yep. to start, That's you right. know. Um, the goal is obviously over 100 people. But, but, yep. but, you know, to start, I think that 20 people solid before the end of the year, oh. it, will, it will propel me fast, farther than a million dollars. Yes. I already did my calculations and should it. If there's an agent out there that is struggling and their back's against the wall, they feel like they, they, they're they making 50 grand a year. Wow. And they're like, man, I'm struggling. I don't know what to do. I'm not Tatiana yet. <laughs> How do they become Tatiana? What, what, what advice would you give to them? Don't give up. That's what I would mm. say. Don't give up. Many people think that this industry is about just picking up the phone, calling, and then somebody say, yes, I want to buy insurance. Yes. That doesn't happen. No. I mean, I never met somebody, but if you met somebody like that, please let me know. Yeah, I want to meet that person. Me uh, but I never met somebody that says, Tatiana, every time that I call somebody in the first phone call, they pick up. And they say, please sell And me. they say, please sell me. That, that I, I haven't met. And if somebody tells me that, then that's a problem because they say, what the hell is wrong with that person? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, they yeah. might have some illness or something. That's what yeah, they want me to exactly. sell them, you know? Uh, but I would say, don't give up. And I would say, it's easier than it looks if you really pay attention to every move you make. Like, so I, I, I will tell you a quick story. Uh, I went to the supermarket and I, w- I saw a Hispanic lady. Uh, she needed help. You know, I, I talked to her briefly and I said, you know, by the way, how old are you? And she said, 62, 63. And I said, this is my car. If you ever need me, call me. Can you believe that a lady saved that car for three years? Wow. She must have liked you. Well, but it's because we make a connection. That's right. You know what I mean? It was it was in a in in, in a non plan you know, way. Yeah. I was looking for something in a supermarket that it wasn't even my area. The lady was looking for something. I helped her because she didn't know how to read English. I said, oh, this is right here. This is what you're looking for. Oh, you look like my daughter. And we just made a small little chit chat That's for awesome. what, like five, seven minutes maybe? Yes. And I gave her my time. Most people don't have the courage to do that. You seem to have the courage to ask anyone, anything, anytime. You're very likable, very outgoing, super driven, but you're also really good at connecting with people. But I think that that can be learned, to be honest with you. I don't think that, I think that that's a craft that you start developing with time. I don't think that you are born. I mean, I mean, there are some lucky people that they're born with it. Uh, but I think that the more, it's like a, it's like exercise. Like you, when you were saying about your triathlon, right? Yes. Probably yes. at the beginning you were thinking, oh my God, how am I going to do this? You That's know right. what I mean? This looks like a mountain task. I'm never going to mm. be able to train for this. But you don't need to do it all at once. That's true. Right? That's right. You only need to run half a mile today, then a mile later, then yeah. a mile and a half. But the moment that you realize you're in 10 miles, one shot, mm. you know, so you turn around, you look, oh, yeah, last like, year. I did it. Yeah, last year I was only running half a mile. Yeah. So it's like a muscle. If you start, you know, looking for opportunities at the beginning when, when I became from coming from corporate and then being independent and not having that salary, yeah. you know, I, I was making a big salary in Wall Street. I was making $150,000 your salary. Most people would think that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm complacent right that's pretty good that's what i was saying in the meeting too it's so easy to get complacent because yes. you you get to a point that okay i'm making good money i have a nice car i have a nice apartment at the time it was an apartment in new york city i have a nice apartment but at what point is enough you know right. uh and 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 when i was removed that salary when i was removed that comfort blanket mm-hmm. i was like okay how am i gonna get clients now because i need that's right i need 40 clients a month you mm. know how am i gonna do that how do you do that and and i start realizing that you have to ask every single person so good like everywhere you go if you go to the same laundromat go and ask the laundromat lady this is me this is what i do if you know somebody that needs my help there you go. That's awesome. 
you know, give it to everybody like a hot menu, That's you right. know? Courage. Yeah. And, and, and think about it. The worst thing that can happen is they want to say, oh, I'm good. Okay, That's take right. my car. Doesn't matter. That's take right. my car. Put it there. Or oh, can I put it here? I used to go to um, restaurants and I used to put, you've never seen those billboards that they yes. put the yes. carts? I used to put three or four Cork, carts. Cork board or whatever. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I used to put like three or four carts there, you know. You have problems with med- with small little notes. You have problems with Medicare. Call me. You're you know? extremely persistent too. And I'm persistent, um, yes. I don't give up. Very persistent. Until they tell me, shut up or don't call me anymore. And that's it. And I have those. Yeah. You guys got to get like that. They got to get like Tatiana. <laughs> she does not give up. Okay. L- last question. What does 8% <sighs> mean to you? 8% means the people that really make it. You know what I mean? We are sadly not that many. I have worked in many, many corporations. And I see many people. I used to hire people for a corporation, too. So I hire many people. And it irks me. You know I mean? Mm. You have no idea how how many people now call me sometimes for a job because they see now what I post online and stuff like that. And uh, recently I had a guy that he said, and and he is my age. I don't think that I'm old. I'm 44. uh, But I don't think that I'm old, right? similar age to Dallas, actually. Yes. I think that Dallas is 43 or something like that, right? But I I don't consider myself myself old or finished or I mean I, I think that I'm just starting you know right. um, but I have this guy calling me he's 45 he just got fired from his job in corporate America because mm-hmm. of COVID in New York City and he calls me he says I, I was wondering if, if you know somebody can give me a job that I can make a hundred thousand dollars a year and I just want to take it easy and I was like oh I'm not the person that I can recommend you that kind of job I'm sorry not take it easy no, but why do you want to take it easy? That's my, that's kind of my point here. Why? Yeah, that's a really good question. What? I don't think people really deep down want to take it easy. I think it's just the, the easy way out is to just be like... But why? Because I used to tell myself, like, if I can just make $5,000 a week, this is years ago. If I can just make $5,000 a week, I'll be set for life. But, and when then I got to 5000 I'm like... But see, at least you realize yeah, that you yeah. wanted more. But this guy was already making a hundred and, a hundred and something thousand dollars a year. And he wants to go to another job. Making a hundred and And make a hundred and something thousand dollars a year. Yeah. And just be there. And this is a 45-year-old man that probably has a family. Exactly. Right? Maybe yes. he has kids that are 15 or like, like Dallas, yes. right? 14, 15 years old. That's, that's right. the average. That's right. So then soon they're going to go to college. If they want to go to college, right? You don't want to take that away from your family. Mm. I mean, you don't want your kid to ask you for something that you cannot provide. You are the parent. That's right. It's your responsibility. Give them the opportunity that your parents gave you. So if your parents gave you for college, gave you money for college, or gave yes. you the possibility to go to college, the least that you can do for your kids is giving the same opportunity that you were provided. Absolutely. When you were in that place. You have to. So why are you going to settle for so little? That's Show some that. respect to your family, to yourself. You know, and and I told him, I, I felt bad for him because I was like, listen, but I'm not a person I wouldn't want to recommend you. Yes. How I can recommend to my network mm. somebody that is telling me I, I want to take, take it easy. easy. Mm. Don't right? do that. How that looks as a, my reflection. Yeah, not good. No. I've hired too many people that are close to me that come here and just want to take it easy. And, and I'm like, I'm done. I was like, no. I'm sorry, yeah. but no. It's unacceptable that you are that age. 100%. Are thinking like that. You have what? Probably 15, 20 years to retire. And probably you don't even have a 401k or nothing that mm. you can show for your life. I mean, what right. do you have now that it can be a legacy? Right. He didn't have no answer. I said, don't call me for BS, I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not a person. And then some people label me, label me as too rough, but I don't think that I'm rough. I, I, I just think Honest. that, yeah, I think that sometimes honesty can be taking us a rough. Oh, totally. Uh, but I don't think that it's totally. rough to be to be truthful, you totally. know. I, I don't want to be average. Do you want to be average? No. No. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing this. That's right. You follow me? You're, you're, you're going to leave a legacy, too. You're going to build something special. We have to. Like. I can you feel know, it. you guys can feel it too, can't you? I yeah, can I have to. It. It's from, my responsibility. From Peru, yes, to millionaire, yes. That's the book. Yes, you, that, that's a story. And you that, and I were gonna, you and I were gonna make millions with the agency things. Remember? That's right. That's right. Yes. Okay. I'm still waiting for your call. I love it. I'm sitting here, there you know. Go. Okay. She's right. Waiting, She's wait, close. Wait, wait, waiting, waiting for Cody to send me a text that they don't want to buy this. That's you know? right. That's right. I See? Forgot that. You forgot yeah. about it already. I, See? I've got a lot of ideas, too. I know, but yeah. I don't forget about anything. I'm She's sorry. Not, you know? I, I have you on a speed dial, you know? Boom. Yeah. Cody. She's incredible. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Cody. I love it. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, your expertise. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. I love it. Go I'm get it like it. Tatiana, okay? You don't have any excuses. Accept responsibility. Yes. And get after it. Yes, and take, take responsibility. Yes, everything is your fault. And, and just a small thing. Some people okay. say Tatiana is bilingual. That's what she's so successful. Oh, my gosh. And I think that that's just a BS excuse. I'm sorry. No. Everyone has the same opportunity. I was going to say yes. You know, everybody, Whether they believe it or not, they do. There is a lot of people in the U.S. It's 10,000. Now I think there were to 12,000 people, right? 12,000 people turning 65 every day. You are going to tell me that people think that there is not enough people. This is the only business that I know That's that for right. the next 10 years, the number is going to keep increasing and we're not going to have lack customers. It's I mean, 360,000 a month. I know. People turning 65. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Isn't, and they all can be rich through That's the right. phone. That's right. Or through mail or in person or knocking doors. All of them work. Some people ask me, what works? Everything yeah. works. Do everything. That's right. Do it all. Do it all. We can all make money like Tatiana. Okay. Thank you. Thank I want to make more money. This. Thank you. I love yes. it. Okay. No, thank you, Cody. Go do it. Be, be Tatiana. I want you in the hot seat. Okay. Thanks for <laughs> yes. Watching. Thank you. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Who heard when we first started today that the best people in the world have a coach? Was that Bill Gates earlier that said everybody should have a coach? That's ridiculous. That's amazing. That's crazy. Ridiculous in a good way.